Get ready for the ride of your life. It's a bold new series that asks the most provocative questions and takes you wherever they lead. Every great journey begins with curiosity. is a natural calamity that can destroy anything near it, be it cities or forests and could kill thousands of people. While bomb is a product of man's creation, an agent of chaos and destruction. So, now what will happen when the power of these two forces join? Although various attempts of bombing the lava to prevent loss of life and property have been made in past, for instance, in 1935 and 1942, USA tried to use bombs to divert the flow of lava away from human settlements. However, both attempts had proved fruitful. In the late 1970s, the US Air Force alongside the scientists of Hawaiian Volcano Observatory conducted a bombing experiment to evaluate the effectiveness of explosions and lava diversion. In this experiment, several bombs were dropped on an inactive lava field. This test concluded that indiscriminate bombing can destroy the upper part of lava tube but failed to have any particular effect against the deep magmatic channel. Now, try to imagine what will happen when a nuclear bomb is dropped on a volcano. There should be a catastrophic explosion to start a chain reaction, it needs to be blown up directly over the crater. When talking about a usual cone volcano that is, a stratovolcano, the most probable outcome is that the explosion will be the destruction of its top without invoking any volcanic activity. Most bombs don't have a blast radius that can reach the underground reservoir and release the accumulated pressure in it. The complete demolition of nature death machine can only happen if the bomb is somehow able to blast inside the magma chamber, at a depth of around 6 kilometers under the ground. Then the explosion would lead to magma's melting point with subsequent eruption. The volcano will erupt with lava and spew radioactive ash. There will be more ash than a conventional steam because of the chain reaction, and the activity of the volcano will continue for a much longer time. Now back to the fantasy and let's imagine what will happen if you drop a nuclear bomb on the world's most famous volcano. Yes, that's supervolcano Yellowstone. Yellowstone do not have cone, unlike conventional volcanoes, but it has so huge magma reservoir that it can obscure any artificial explosion. If the nuclear bomb is able to explode at a depth such that it can open the magma chamber, the power of the nuclear bomb will be negligible in front of the destructive power of the volcano. The greatest trouble will be the radioactive ash spilling out of the volcano covering a radius of hundreds of miles, destroying any living being in its path, be it humans or plants. The blast wave would kill and injure people up to a distance of 180 kilometers from the epicenter.